300,000 years ago, as the cold night descended upon the African savannas, a small band of early Homo sapiens gathered around a flickering fire. The flames cast erratic shadows upon the cave walls, dancing like spirits from an unseen world. They had seen fire before, but tonight was different. One among them looked into the blaze, not with instinctual recognition, but with something new. A thought, an awareness, a question. Who am I? Why am I here? This was no ordinary night. It would turn out to be the dawn of a cognitive leap that would separate Homo sapiens from every other species that had ever walked the Earth. A mutation had occurred, an imperceptible twist in the double helix of DNA setting in motion a revolution that would shape the course of history. This genetic shift granted humans the ability to think abstractly, to reflect on their existence, and to envision a future beyond the immediate moment. This single alteration in the human brain would give rise to art, philosophy, science, civilization, and eventually a species capable of not only surviving, but shaping the world around them. However, with this gift came an unparalleled burden, the awareness of mortality, the knowledge of suffering, and the power to destroy as well as create. The mutation that changed everything did not merely give humans intelligence. It gave them self-awareness, the force behind all progress and all peril. Around six million years ago, the first hominins, human-like primates, emerged. These early ancestors were bipedal, a trait that marked the beginning of a divergence from other primates. Over millions of years, the hominin lineage diversified and gave rise to species like Australopithecus afarensis, famously represented by the fossil Lucy, and Homo habilis, the first tool users. By two million years ago, the genus Homo had emerged, with species like Homo erectus venturing out of Africa and spreading across Eurasia. These early humans were remarkably successful, mastering fire, crafting tools, and adapting to diverse environments. Yet despite their achievements, they lacked something crucial, the ability to reflect deeply on their existence. They lived, survived, and eventually vanished, leaving behind only fragments of their lives in the fossil record. Around 300,000 years ago, a new species arose, Homo sapiens. Unlike their predecessors, these early humans possessed a unique genetic mutation. This mutation did not grant them greater physical strength or endurance. Instead, it unlocked the power of self-awareness. For the first time, a species could not only perceive the world, but also contemplate its place within it. The mutation that led to self-awareness likely did not occur overnight. It was the culmination of gradual changes, an expansion of the prefrontal cortex, increased neural connectivity, and a shift in social dynamics. While Neanderthals had larger brains than Homo sapiens, their cognitive wiring may have been different, lacking the same degree of abstract thought and creativity. Evidence suggests that Homo sapiens developed more complex language structures, enabling not just communication, but storytelling, planning, and shared myths. The mutation responsible for this leap is believed to have involved changes in the FOXP2 gene, which plays a crucial role in language development and neural processing. While other primates possess a version of this gene, a few key mutations in humans allowed for the development of intricate speech and communication. With this, Homo sapiens could pass knowledge from one generation to the next, preserving wisdom and refining technology over time. The impact of this mutation was not immediate. For tens of thousands of years, early Homo sapiens lived much like their ancestors, hunting and gathering in small nomadic groups. But gradually, the seeds of self-awareness began to bear fruit. Around 70,000 years ago, during what is known as the Cognitive Revolution, Homo sapiens began to exhibit behaviors that were distinctly human, creating art, developing language, and forming complex social networks. Archaeological evidence from sites like Blombos Cave in South Africa shows that early humans were carving abstract symbols into bones and stones as far back as 75,000 years ago. This suggests a level of cognitive complexity that went beyond mere survival. It was an early form of art and expression, a precursor to writing and culture. Alongside this intellectual leap, Homo sapiens began to exhibit spirituality. Burial sites dating back tens of thousands of years contain grave goods, which indicated a belief in an afterlife or an unseen world. Unlike other animals, which simply existed in the present, humans were beginning to grapple with existential questions. What happens after death? Why do we suffer? These inquiries would give rise to mythology, religion, and philosophy, pillars of human civilization. 
The discovery of cave paintings, such as those in Lascaux, France, and the Blombos Cave in South Africa, provides evidence of this burgeoning creativity. These early humans were not just surviving, they were expressing themselves, telling stories, and leaving a legacy for future generations. By 10,000 years ago, the agricultural revolution marked another turning point. Homo sapiens transitioned from nomadic lifestyles to settled communities, cultivating crops and domesticating animals. This shift laid the foundation for the rise of civilizations, from Mesopotamia and Egypt to the Indus Valley and beyond. With agriculture came surplus food, population growth, and the emergence of specialized roles, farmers, artisans, priests, and rulers. The mutation that had sparked self-awareness now fueled the growth of cities, the development of writing, and the creation of complex belief systems. It enabled humans to harness the power of nature, from irrigation systems to metallurgy, and to explore the mysteries of the universe through science and philosophy. Yet, as humanity's achievements grew, so too did the challenges. The same self-awareness that had driven progress also gave rise to existential dilemmas. For every act of creation, there was the potential for destruction. The agricultural revolution, while transformative, led to deforestation, soil degradation, and social inequality. The rise of civilizations brought with it warfare, slavery, and exploitation. In the modern era, the consequences of human intelligence have become even more pronounced. The Industrial Revolution, beginning in the 18th century, unleashed unprecedented technological advancements, steam engines, electricity, and mass production. But it also brought pollution, climate change, and the depletion of natural resources. The 20th century witnessed both the triumph of human ingenuity, such as the moon landing, and the horrors of world wars, nuclear weapons, and genocide. The mutation that changed everything was not one of physical superiority, but of thought, imagination, and the ability to question our existence. It led us from caves to skyscrapers, from firelit gatherings to digital networks spanning the globe. It is a gift, one that has made us both creators and destroyers, pioneers and plunderers. The choice now lies in our hands. Will we define our existence through wisdom and understanding, or will we allow our intelligence to lead us toward ruin? If history has taught us anything, it is that humanity has the potential to rise from darkness. But to ensure our legacy is one of progress, not destruction, we must embrace the very trait that set us apart. Our ability to reflect, to learn, and to choose a future worth living for. Thank you for watching and exploring this journey through human evolution and self-awareness. If you enjoyed this video on the mutation that changed everything, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with others who might find it fascinating. Stay curious, stay thoughtful, and let's continue uncovering the mysteries of our existence together. Until next time.